Now, if you were fortunate enough this morning, uh, you would have attended the breakfast, uh, the breakfast that was sponsored and hosted by NIPDB, and they were speaking about the various project opportunities that they have going within Namibia. What we're going to hear next is, um, a, you know, a talk about the sustainability within Namibia. So, please, a round of applause for our next speaker. This is, of course, Geis Hubert. A round of applause, please. Thank you, Tammy. Environment, social governance, ESG, uh, the well-known global responsibility matrix and standards, the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, International Financial Reporting Systems, or IFRS, as we know it, and so many more international standards and frameworks, and ever increasing in terms of sustainability in business. Noble ideas to which we fully subscribe, but our lived reality on the ground in Namibia, and I think in large parts of Africa, is probably a little different and dare I say, probably miles ahead. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ghees um, I'm here to represent Gondwana Collection Namibia, a proudly Namibian-born, Namibian-based, Namibian-owned, and Namibian-managed um, tourism company. Behind me, you will see one of Gondwana Collection's um, Gondwana Collection and Mabia's eight, eight community-based joint venture lodges. This is Namashasha River Lodge on the Kwandu River up in the Zambezi region of our country. If you allow me, let me take you there now. Imagine me standing on that deck at Namashasha. Where I'm standing is a lodge like I mentioned, which forms part of Kondwana Collection. We are a for-profit company with more than a 1,000 shareholders, including each and every one of our employees. A company proudly built on sustainability. This lodge is built on land that does not belong to us. It is communal land, the benefits of which belongs to the local community in terms of the Namibian government's progressive community-based natural resource management plan, in terms of which local communities own the rights and the responsibilities over wildlife and natural resources in the area. In front of me, straight in front of me, is the Kwandu River, filled with crocodiles and hippos. Across this small river, you will find the Bobata National Park, teeming with African wildlife including predators like lions. To my far left is a different country in Botswana. To my right, there stands an elephant. To my far right, you will find our local community. Living in a traditional village whose people make the majority of the employees at the Namashasha River Lodge. And they also benefit directly through profit share in terms of the mentioned community-based natural resource management pro program. In between all of these stakeholders, there's not a single fence. No boundary to protect the local community from the elephant or the lion. No fence on the border between Namibia and Botswana so that the animals can freely move across this man-made line on a map. All of us live together through mutual respect and benefit sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, that is lift sustainability in a Namibian context. In a country as beautiful and rich in natural and cultural heritage as Namibia, sustainable and inclusive tourism 
hand in hand with communities and conservation leads the way forward in creating magnificent destination and travel experiences. That is our Namibia. Welcome to our beautiful country. Um, I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful capital. But believe me, the beauty is out there in terms of our landscapes, our cultural, and our, and our wildlife. So allow me to take you on a journey for us as Kondona to show off our beautiful country to you in the next few minutes. <laughs> 